Brenda Hammond, you have a book coming out in the next couple of days. Tell us about it. My book is called I Am, and I Am is my story about learning how to find happiness after abuse that had plagued me for over four decades. It's a gripping, harrowing roller coaster of a story that takes you on a wild ride through challenges and defeats, heartache and laughter, mystery and a murder contract. The story tells of the determination and the sheer will to survive it all. I am takes the story or takes the reader on a journey from I was to I am. That's beautiful. What will readers get from this book? What words do you have to share with them and why should they purchase your book? What they'll get out of this book is hope. Hope and determination. If somebody is reading this book and they themselves have been a victim of incest and sexual abuse, they can see a path that they can say, you know, with with some determination, I can get past this. I can have the life that I was meant to live, not the life that my abusers have so generously handed me on their silver platter. You do have the ability to take it back and to take control of your life. It's not going to be an easy journey, but it is a journey that's well worth it. You had another book. I Can't Have Birds Anymore is told from the five-year-old child's point of view. So... My story started when I was five and I was that little girl. And when I started to go through my therapy, out of the ashes came, I can't hear the birds anymore. And once I gave the little five-year-old in me that voice, she was determined that she was going to have her story told from her point of view, how it affected her, how she's seen the world through now her eyes as being a victim of this abuse. And every, every decision that she made was always based on how she was told who she was by her abusers. Well, I read that story, and it was very, very touching. I've also been working with you on this book, and I have seen such a contrast in your healing, and the way you write this book is incredible difference between the two, and you must be so proud of you. It's not a rewrite of the first book. I Can't Hear the Birds Anymore as a five-year-old child, and I Am is the woman in me that has told my story. Very good. Well, yeah, I'm very different. Book. Read it from very cover to cover, and I I believe that your story is so powerful, and I am so proud of w watching the changes that has taken place in you. If all we are able to do is give hope, that's what we want to do. Hope is is the cornerstone of healing, mm -hmm. and if somebody knows that they have hope, that somebody out there has gone through it, they're not then, alone. They're not alone. And now they can find their voice. And, you know, I always say, not everybody is going to write a book. And not everybody is going to scream from the rooftop that I've been involved in incest and sexual abuse. But if I can help them give a voice to their memory so that they can confront their family or seek counseling, then I think what I went through was well worth it to save somebody else. Thank you for sharing this with us. We're looking forward to reading your book, I Am, Breaking Down the Walls of Silence about Sexual and Emotional Abuse. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you very much.